got this really disgusting sort of thing going on with my uh, wrist braces. Because they have this little pad thing that sort of goes up against the palm of my hand. And I like stuff paper towels in there because it gets sweaty and like gross. And, 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 and like the sweat like soaks into the fabric, you know? So I, uh, I, I, I even wash and dry them occasionally. And that, that one time I wear them after drying them is fucking bliss. Because they're not like gross, you know? <clears throat> Let me know if I sound alright, it just occurred to me that I never actually tested the audio. I usually do. Uh, so if I sound like I'm in a fucking aquarium, I can fix that, probably. Uh, usually swapping back and forth between the mics has fuckery. Uh, folks, look at this art. This is from Vast underscore SV on the Buru. Uh, someone has very eloquently put it, this art has so much swag. Yes. This is fucking awesome. Uh, I think it's a genuine watercolor. I was like, it's either a, a watercolor or like the most convincing digital watercolor I've ever seen in my life. Uh, but let's look at that. Like, look at the triumphant expression and then look at the detail on the fruit. I was just like zooming in on this. It, it looks luscious. It's great. I'm blown away by this. Thank you, SV. V vast SV. Very cool. Uh, I'm sorry to use such amazing art on a game that probably no one will watch the streams of. <laughs> but we're playing Bullet Soul today, this is a bullet hell that I wanted to play. Uh, I downloaded it, and I played it for a little bit, and I was like, cool, this looks fun. And I quit out of the game and I looked at my Steam, and I noticed that I got six achievements in four minutes. It's one of those games, so uh, we're in for a treat. I wonder if you guys will actually be able to see the achievements just flying by, just every frame a new achievement. Uh, but this game, Danmaku Unlimited 3, which I really liked, uh, cited this game as an influence. They were like, yeah, we basically just ripped off the mechanic from Bortsol. You know, I just realized I don't actually have Steam open. Okay. So give me one second here. All right, game should be up. There you go. I got that song from Lark's stream, by the way. It was like someone requested it. I was like, damn, this is really good. Every once in a while, I'll have a pick that's just from... Looks like you guys will be able to see the achievements. Fuck yeah. I'll just have a pick that's stolen from Lark. Here's the question, though. I think the thing that's burning on everyone's mind is... Where is the game? <laughs> where, where, there it is. I think I had to click on it. The Five Powered and Games. By the way, uh, there's some fucking English in here. Look at one of these. Shooting down the enemies quickly and raised 70 and over units reinforcements. Yeah, cool. That's a sentence. Uh, okay. Here we are. Poor translation, perhaps. Oops. Have you guys ever seen, before we play this actually, have you guys ever seen Zup? Ooh, we got some banger music. Hell yeah. Have you guys seen like the Zup games on, uh, on Steam? They're like games where you, you download them and they just, you just farm achievements on them. I have one of them because I downloaded it out of like sheer curiosity. But I don't think you get like gamer score or anything. Hold on. Zup exclamation mark three. Uh, how many achievements are there? Locked achievements. A bunch, like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then plus 1,155. I've played the game for 72 minutes and I got 538 achievements. Shit's fucking insane. It's kind of interesting. It's weird. Uh, okay. We're gonna play. I'm never gonna play Zup on stream, because the game is like nothing. It's like a weird puzzle platformer that's really... It's got... It's it's like the world's hardest game where it's a bunch of like shapes and nobody gives a shit. Uh, alright. Game start. So, we got some ships here. We do have Booba on deck. And we got this fucking guy. Main player. Uh, hmm. Let's look at the actual bullets. Oh, all the attacks actually look really cool. 
There's a couple different versions of this game, too. I'm gonna go with this one. Ikimas! <laughs> uh, oh, I haven't seen this, actually. I tried, like, the training mode. So is there gonna be a cutscene? Good luck. Hey, got an achievement. A Lamau. Just for selecting this character. Okay, I'll play the king guy some other time. He does look cool. He looks like a character from some anime. It's on the tip of my tongue. Okay. Uh, so we got cool 3D graphisk. We got the Star Wars city from the prequels down below. Ooh, homing lasers. I like that. I didn't even realize they were homing. Uh, gotta go with my main booba. Oh, I think I just wasted a bomb. Cool. We are figuring out the controls. Uh, but yeah, once I kill an enemy, their bullets turn into little ghost bullets. Bullet souls. And I pick them up. I drink them up! I'm not drinking them up very well right now. Uh, it's kind of hard to like, see the ships amongst all the 3D noise. Uh, the music's cool, though. Oh, the building fell over. I, mean, I did like the entire first stage off stream, so... Sorry, I've ar I, it's fake reaction. I've actually seen this before. <laughs> Germa reaction. Fake gamer. Uh, how's the sound for you guys? Is that a good level? Seems good. Uh-oh. Oh, those homing lasers are nice. Uh, you know, oh, I just realized I've been holding down the, like, focus button the whole time. This is my actual shot. What the fuck? That's really good. Okay, so we got wide shot. Cool. My, my normal classic configuration that I like. Wide shot, hold down for a more concentrated fire for bosses, and it even homes on just like Danmaku. Danmaku Unlimited. I know it's... the worst part about Danmaku Unlimited is the name. It's like the driest name possible. Because it's just the name of the genre with the word unlimited stapled on the end. Very lame. It's like, I don't know, it's almost as lame as calling your game something like, I don't know, cyberpunk? Just naming your game after a fucking genre like you fucking own the place? I'm glad that game sucked ass. <laughs> Not really. Bomb. Okay, oh shit, it's the big guy. Oh. I don't care. I care more about his bullet patterns than his character. Interesting, the things that I homed on to when I started holding down the button continue to be the things that you home on to even when you move away. Doesn't, like, seek new targets. Which could be interesting. Doesn't seem like, I don't know, the beam is so, like, wide that why would you ever need... that, whatever. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I think when I tested this out, I did not take, like, a single hit, so... It's not terribly difficult on the first stage. I don't think there's difficulty modes, either. <whistles> nice, fun. It's fun so far. Sounds good? Okay, let me know. Let me know, folks. No miss! Yeah, I don't miss. Oh, did I do it? I thought I got hit, maybe. I'm gonna turn it down the tiniest, tiniest bit. Uh, do let me know. Alright. I have not seen this. We are now in uncharted territory. I think I read that this is like your classic like five or six stages though, I think. Oh good, asteroid field. Really is Star Fox. Oh, that's one thing that was really satisfying in Dunmaco Unlimited 3, was just the huge clusters of ghost bullets just <laughs> sucking them up. I don't know, do I have a little combo thing going on? I should look at the HUD. Yeah, I think I do. I think I'm kind of racking it up right now. Oh my god, nut. Newt. I think it's like I don't need to, like, maintain it over time like I did the other one. It's just like I need to, like, not get hit, I bet. Which is pretty cool. That's just your... That's closer to an actual, like, standard bullet hell like, scoring... score high mechanic. Uh, this is very much like uh, Mushihime-sama. It's just reminding me a lot of that just in the visuals. Which was, I guess nobody, people are going to be like, yeah, I remember that one. Uh, it was one of the better ones. One of the better cave shooters, in my opinion. 
fucking ridiculously hard at the end, but, you know, more often than not, they are. A hey, achievement. Big Deca run. Walk into the club like, yo, what up? I got a big Deca run. Was that funny, guys? Did you think I should maybe just scrap that bit? Who remembers Thrift Shop? Ooh, base analysis. Based? Okay, there's another achievement. We're starting- we're in a new level, so I'm starting to get, like, more achievements. Based. Mystery bonus! Uh... Okay. I don't know what the mystery is. I, I'll- maybe we'll solve the mystery. I don't know. I don't know. Oh! Snake. Mmm. Mama. Time to die. Time for you to die, baby. Time for you to die, baby. Okay. Used a couple bombs there. Doing pretty good. It's not too hard so far. Uh, this... The 3D-ness of the background is, like, maybe kind of make giving me, like, motion sickness or something. I don't know. It's, like, unsettling for me to look at for some reason. E. The health bar looks like ass. Can I just say, like, small criticism? The health bar looks like such shit. I like the ones in cave shooters that have, like, crazy fancy, like, emblems around them and shit. This is just, this is like the bare minimum. I guess it's like got a texture on it. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Did I get hit there and did it like auto bomb? Or did I beat like a part of his body at just the right time? I think I did. His. This thing is very obviously male, guys. Yeah, I think we're destroying parts of its body. Uh, I keep either auto-bombing or having fortuitous strokes of luck here. Alright, come on, use the focus. I really love the electricity shot. Homing shots are always my jam in these types of games, because they just let you hold down the button and just focus on, on dodging some ridiculous moves, although nothing too crazy so far. How many forms do you have? Cock? You have cock? You have cock? Cock, please? Oh! Those are fast. Those are fast bullets. Cool. Scum. Can use a bomb. Oh, nice. The bombs actually last a really long time, too. That's cool. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Use another bomb. Eee! God damn it. Oh, it was so close! I was so close! Rippers. Kaiser Nibun. They always have such goofy ass names in these. Oh, uh, so close to perfecting the entire stage. Bonus King. Fuck yeah, baby. You heard it here first, folks. I'm the bonus king. Bonus King, perfect player. These are some titles you may know me as the Monkey Watch Guy who also perfected, uh, fucking... I, I feel like nobody talks about when I fucking perfected lockstep first try. <clears throat> Lest we forget, this is the famous lockstep and monkey watch first try perfect man. Oh. These are cool enemies. This, this feels very inspired by cave shooters in a lot of ways. I'm usually such a slut for, like, normal 2D sprites and not having this, like, sort of 2D plane of action, but 3D models type of model, but, uh, it can be fun, it can be cool. Fuck. Dee dee. I wish I had got all three so she would say dee dee dee. Is that- do I need to dodge those things? I thought there were, like, things on the little coral on the ground I would have to, like, actually get out of the way. Oh, yeah, give me all those. Huh? 
So, I was saying before, there's two versions of this game. One of them is like an upgraded version. This is not the upgraded version. I accidentally bought both thinking the other one was a sequel. Uh, they were both on sale, so I wasted like three dollars. I bought, guys, it's been a while since I've really like splurged on a Steam sale, but there were just a lot of games that I really wanted to get. And even some ones that I just mildly wanted to get, but you know how the Steam sale is. You just want to buy it because it's so cheap. It's so cheap, I feel like a suburban mom. Getting had by like deals, you know? Can that thing die? That's not even like sarcasm, like literally can it die? I don't even know if it's possible to kill it. Flying ace, I don't know what that means. I don't know what I did to earn that, but sure, thank you. Okay, well I, I tried to use the like cling beam strat. Oh! Yo! <laughs> Wait, I was still hurting the other one? Speak ill of a dead person. What? Yo, he came in and fucking akuma the boss that was supposed to fight me. It was like there was a boss there that was like, I'm gonna fight the player. And then this guy was like, no. Raging demon, M. Bison. That was awesome. Ah, oh, that was not even that hard of a wave. D, D. Oh, I missed one of them. Do I missed? That was really loud. Let's go ahead and just use a bomb to get my power up. Bedzilla. Wow, and he splooged all over the floor. Someone clean this up. That was fucking hilarious. This is cool. It was like trying to tell a story in the background, too. Uh, like a lot of other cave shooters, it's pretty easy to hang on to your power-ups here. I, I love this mechanic of the, the, the ghost bullets. Oh, really? I, that was bad. That was really bad. That was- I just, like, simply ceased thinking. Andrew tweeted the other day something that really resonated with, with me. He was like, yeah, I, I- I was drinking coffee and I- I just sort of, like, opened my mouth when I had a mouthful of coffee and it just, like, fell down my lap. I simply ceased to think. I was like, wow, relatable. Huh. Hey, can you get far, far away from me, you fucking snake? Gonna use a bomb there, although I think I maybe could have survived that. It's like usually the enemies have just enough health that you like kill them just in the nick of time to not get hit. I did not buy Ultra Kill. Uh, I should maybe. Would it be kind of fun for me to just like list off all the fucking ones that I bought? Because I bought a lot. I don't really remember all of them. I remember I got Tekken 7. Tekken 7. Gurren Lagan. I got Tekken 7. Uh. I got this and its remake or whatever, remaster. Give me the thing. Uh, I think I got another fighting game and I'm forgetting what it is. I'll 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 look at Steam in just a second. Okay, game's starting to get some teeth. Let's shut up. Let's, let's time for Greyfoot to stop talking. Oh, big! Oh! Alright, time to unload into his rump. Unload the toad. A lot of attacks that, like, seek onto you, you want to move as minutely as possible so that the bullets don't get, like, spread all over. Oh! oh. I love patterns like that. Those are so cool. It's weird, I don't even know exactly why the bullets are turning into ghosts at certain points. Am I, like, breaking parts of its body? That's what I thought was happening with the other one, but I don't know if that's really the case. I think maybe there's just a certain, like, damage threshold where they do that. Eat dead? Okay, we're bombing quite a bit, but, you know, I think that's kind of the strat. Uh, with a lot of these games. Previously, I felt like I was- I was always worried that I was, like, wasting bombs by not using them. Better safe than sorry. Sorry. Love that. This is awesome. This is a great game. This is a fun game. I like this. It's a little on the easy side for its, like, type, but maybe I will eat 
a huge steaming pile of like word pie later on. Maybe it'll have that cave shooter bullshit where the final boss is just like unbeatable. Unless you're a legend at the game. Whew. Ha! Whoo! Oh, this is great. Look at that. That was fun. You're not dead. I like that they they visibly change physical form a lot of times during the fight too. That's a cool detail. It like started off in the egg and now it's kind of like writhing around on the ground. This is like the fucking baby piranha in uh, Mario Galaxy. Dino baby piranha or whatever. He, ha. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! No! Chamber is empty. I think that achievement is meant to indicate when you try to bomb and you don't have any bombs. Because that's what I just did. I tried to bomb, but I was out, and it gave me a fucking achievement for it. <laughs> Fuck you, game. <laughs> it's got some sassy, some sassy meta shit, too. My god. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Hold on, I'm put- I'm sitting down. Yo, it's good that it pauses the music too. I kinda like it kinda bugs me in some games. I've been playing Cuphead a little bit recently. Uh I don't know why I'm whispering. It bugs me in some games when you pause and the music keeps playing and it's like, well now it's not like it, it, oh it doesn't no oh I, I I don't know, my brain doesn't like it. The cuphead action isn't gonna like sync up in the way that it normally does, that pleases my brain. It's all wrong. Even if it's, you know, not actually quantifiably any different. Cool backgrounds, too. Oh. Oh, what the? What the fuck? Taboo? Mystery bonus. Uh, it, excuse me. The game just turned psychedelic for two seconds and then went back to, like, warships in space. What? What, what the fuck happened there? What? What was that? What the fuck? I don't know why I did like an annoying like fake British accent. Like a joke British accent. Oh. Lots of situations where, like, a big wave appears, and you're like, Oh god! And then it just disappears before it can actually hit you. He. Ha. It's like Kirby chords. The chords in the music are Kirby chords. I will refuse to elaborate now. Oh, did I, like, not kill it? Is it... Did it run out of health? Fuck. Okay. Look at my little beams. Wee wee wee. I love wiggling them around. Uh, if you lose your power-ups in this game, though, by whatever means, I don't know even how that can happen. That would fucking suck. Like, you, you drop them when you die, but you usually pick them back up. I don't know if they, like, despawn after a certain amount of time or what. <laughs> We're, like, warping through space and time right now. I think. We're, like, dune, like, space traveling. Cock? That's one where I moved too much and the bullets became really spread out. Here, look. Look. Perfect example of what I was talking about. Perfect example. Those ones that track you. You don't want to move too much. Ooh. Oh, good heavens. Hmm. Give me my things. Good. Okay, it's definitely a little more challenging now. I don't know how many, like, continues I have. Suck if I called this game easy and then fucking, like, lost. It doesn't even say how many continues I have. Mm -hmm. 
That's not cool. Oh, that's really not cool. Give me my power-ups, fuckers. It's not like Dark Souls where you, like, lose your blood stain when you die, right? <laughs> that's what was running through my head in that moment. Possibly wasting a bomb, but whatever. Okay, well, I have backed myself into what some might call an unfavorable situation, but... That's what bombs are for. Okay, more trippy shit? Bam. Alright, what are we- what are you? What, pray tell, are you? Oh, though, that went far. That went really far. Cool. <laughs> Stop! That goes, that goes way further than I think it's gonna. Oh. Oh, God. Your boy is finna die. Mm, gorsh. Gorsh. Fuck. E, e, e. You know, I don't think auto bomb is even a thing in this game. I think it might be like in the options. Okay. Woo! <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> my my true like literally a bullet hell player's nightmare. Oh god, they like wake up like tossing and turning in the night. The, the, the ship just shot out just a one solid wave of bullets. It was just, it was one thick, but I couldn't, I couldn't get through. I couldn't squeeze it. <laughs> Honey, it's okay. It was a nightmare. You're awake now. I could, there was no gaps. There weren't any gaps. There were no gaps in the bullets. <laughs> oh my God. Stop doing that. I'm like on crack today. I'm sorry. I'm like acting... I, I'm sorry for my behavior, I apologize. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Leap, leap, leap. I gotta use these bombs, bro. I'm wasting them now. Huh. That's my, exactly what I feared previously. Alright, what do you got for me? Usually got something uh, pretty intense for the last attack. Oh my lord, what even is happening? Cool. That was weird, they like summoned a bunch of bullets, but then... Really, in the end... Bloodellion. <laughs> is that the new JoJo part? That was weird. That attack was weird. Bloodellion. Oh, yeah. All right. I believe I quote Ryu when I say, All right. Uh, hey, game. The fuck do you mean there's another stage? I wanted it to be over. Hmm. I it. I saw a video of a dude, like, crying on the street because Jiraiya died in Naruto. SPOILERS FOR NARUTO! I panicked. There was a gap there, though. I could have gone through it. Like, I want to see, like, a joke bullet hell. Where all it is is just one tiny little dinky, like, basic goon ship comes out. And then just shoots one solid wave of bullets. Like, pathetic little, like, standard purple, purple bullets. And then you just die every time. Give that to bullet hell fanatics. And then they'll obviously dismiss it as a joke. And you will have wasted your time making this pointless joke game. Cuck! I tried to bomb, but I was out of bombs. Ooh. Good. Yeah, it's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. Time for those things to die. 
I should be using the, like, spread shot more. I've been holding down the focus fire way too much. This thing looked like a swastika for, like, a hot second. Yeah. Get the thing. Cock. Okay, focus on this guy. There you go. Oh. Bullet. Goo! E E. I am using a lot of bombs, but it's better than wasting them by just fucking dying. Alright. Yeah, the game is caving. The game is caving. Absolutely put, the game is caving! They're, they're pulling a little bit of cave on my ass. These are cool patterns, though. How many continues do I have? Is it unlimited? I've used like five or six by now. Must be unlimited. Oh, by the way, there's two player in this game. Uh, I originally the settings had it so that there were like there was like this fucking soul bad guy looking anime dude taking up a lot of the screen. That was Poggers. Uh, on on like the left side, but I. The settings allowed you to change, like, the opacity of that overlay, so I changed it to zero. Uh, because I didn't want to see that shit. I want to see space. I didn't mind with Mushihime-sama, because it was Booba. But I guess if I had a second player, it would be Booba. I mean, I'm not even really that big of a fan of this game's, like, art style and the actual, like, little drawings, to be honest. Even the Booba. I know, right? What a prude. Uh, using a lot of bombs. We are out of bombs. Just simply don't have any more. They're shredding. The song is shredding. <sighs> yeah, the bullets do become ghosts when you kill the enemy that shot it. Uh, it's just sometimes bosses... Will, like, the bullets will turn into ghosts, like, when the boss does not die. Which is the thing I was, like, uh... Wondering aloud about earlier. I just got an item in my inventory. It wasn't an achievement, but Steam just, like, I just got, like, a Steam trading card. Jesus Christ. General Poison. That's the department that I worked in, in the, uh... Poison Hotline. That was terrible. Just bad, like... Fuck. I should have sat still for all that. <laughs> Alright, stop existing. Stop. Why are you still alive? Okay. Oh. Oh. I think, uh, yeah, this is... I think we get infinite continues. It's just it'll affect my score. I think. Either that or you get like 15 continues or some shit. Alright, what are you? Oh. Little noodle arms. Little like PlayStation 2 looking ass, Half-Life 1 ass arms. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe I'll play the enhanced version as the king. I don't know, I don't know if I'm exactly feeling a second run of this game, like, right now. Gah. 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 Okay, I could just sit there for that. Awesome. Fuck. Oh! Oh! What do you mean? What exactly do you mean by that? What did he mean by this? What did he mean by this? E e. Okay. Uh, that's one you definitely need to sit still for, and I am just not doing that. I'm just simply not doing that. Oh fuck! This guy's hard. It's about to be the final boss. Ha! 
Gah. I mean, I know the fucking, like, Mushihime-sama final boss, the true final boss, was, like, it... Certain games, it's, like, theorized to be, like, uncompletable by a human. And then they always figure out how to fucking do it. Like, those crazy fucks figure out how to, like, 1cc the entire game. I think Danmaku Unlimited 3, there was, like, some debate over if it was even possible to 1cc, like, the hardest of the hard modes. Uh, but then some guy did it. He was like, oh yeah, by the way, I did that thing that we said was impossible to do. Same thing happened with Mushihime-sama. They, like, figured it out. Master of Lakan. Okay. Is that just because I've used this gun a lot? Mecha Brain. I wanted it to be called Mecha Brain. <laughs> stage 5. Okay, we must be close. I don't think that was the last stage. 6 is usually as far as these kinds of games go. Oh, unless, no, that was it, Yun. I thought it said Yum for a second. No, that was the game. Oh, boggers. Yeah, the king. Crank it. Good luck. It's so Star Foxy. Oh, they blew up the Death Star. I didn't even realize that's what we were doing. Hell yeah. Oh, oh. is the game gonna live? <laughs> Fuck you! Boobs and yare yare. Instantly this game went from like a solid 8.5 to a zero! Okay, why is it stuttering like that? She said the line. What's happened? I, what? I didn't click. I, I clicked on the... I opened the... I, I was in OBS and I clicked on the window. Whatever, it was going to be a bunch of Japanese credits anyway. 5 PB. Uh, yeah, whatever, I don't care. I accidentally skipped the credits like a fucking asshole. God damn it. I clicked, like, I didn't even click on the game. I clicked on, like, the thing in, like, the fucking taskbar in Windows. Uh, register on leaderboards? No thanks. I don't give a shit. Thank you for playing. Okay, that was awesome. That was a cool game. That was just a solid cave-inspired shooter. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the fan for a little bit here. Sorry, there might be a little bit of background noise. It's probably honestly not that bad with uh, my single player setup, but you probably can hear it. It's getting a little hot in here after that little yare yare thing. Uh, okay. Let's look at the options. I'm just curious. Uh, the fucking. <laughs> Let me just show you. So many bullet hells have, like, a crazy amount of visual options. Where... What even was it? Type. Yeah. It's like, of course, you can, like, flip it all around, and you can make it so the HUD is, like, in the little screen here for people who have sideways monitors. And you can also, like, change the position on the screen. I don't know why you would want to do that, but, like, there's a freakish amount of customization here. And then this is the portrait. There they are. But it's like, the portrait only shows up if you're... If we, were, if we were doing two player and both the portraits showed up, then I would have them on. But if we're doing just one, it's, it looks weird lopsided. So, okay. Can you guys hear that? I mean, now you can. Hey, uh... Got a new mic set up. I, I hope you guys can't hear the fan. Got this new thing in OBS that helps sort of like, you know, pick that audio out. Uh, so let me know if you can detect that at all. Uh, okay. I was wondering if there was maybe an auto-bomb option. Oh, auto-bomb. Why? Oh, hey. Would you look at that? Okay, interesting. Did I, like, turn it off? Because I don't think it was on. Uh, should I, like... I'm just going to switch to the other version of the game. We're not even going to play this version anymore. We're going to play, like, the updated cooler version. The Cooler Daniel will make an appearance. Because I accidentally bought both the original and the new version. Ah, more padding for the list. The spreadsheet will eat well today. Uh, l hold on. Let me go sort by recent activity. Here are the games that I bought. Bullet Soul, this one. 
Melty Blood, actress again, current code. The fucking funniest name I've ever seen in my life. I was aware of it beforehand. That is right up there with Guilty Gear, RR, X+, Ultra, Alpha, Omega, or whatever the fuck. Uh, gotta love anime fighters. Gesundheit. Actress again, current code. Amazing. Uh, then I also bought Spore. I got Spore. Spore was like $5. I was like, fuck it, I've never played Spore and it's on the list. I got Firewatch, I got Tekken 7, I got Doom 2016. I almost splurged out and got like a bunch of Doom games and then I kind of held back. I'll play Eternal, whatever. It'll happen someday. I bought Black Mesa, uh, which I didn't previously own. I kind of feel bad waiting for it to be on sale, on like a crazy Valve sale. It always blows my fucking mind how cheap Valve's old games go. Like, routinely, every single year, you can get Half-Life 2 and Portal 2 and, like, Portal. Some of the fucking best video games ever created for, like, $2 each. That shit consistently blows my mind. So I kind of felt bad buying Black Mesa on, like, a crazy sale. I, I know they, like, own the platform so they can get away with that, but it, it, you gotta admit that that is a nutty fucking price to sell those for. You know? Being able to play Portal should be a human right. That's why they put it on Switch. And then I also got this game called Tandis that was on my uh, wish list for a while. That's, I, I think that's gonna be a whack game, or it might be its own stream. Might not be anytime soon, I just bought it, just opportunistically. And I think that's it. Is that really all I got? Felt like more. Made from my wallet, Lamau. Tee wallet joke. <laughs> uh, but anyway. That's, there's, there's some significant shit in there. Alright. Uh, yeah, the screen is black. I, uh, I'm just looking through my Steam right now. We're gonna open up Bullet Soul Infinite Burst. Which is, like, the new and improved version of the game. I've literally never even, like, opened the game, so I hope it works. <laughs> Kind of hoping, nope, it did not just automatically capture. There we go. Okay. I'm assuming it's similar. Mages. Yeah, Black Mesa is not an official Valve game, but it might as fucking well be. It's endorsed by Valve to the point where it might as well be. Which you'll notice is not the case with uh, Hunt Down the Freeman. <laughs> I think there was a certain point where, like, Black Mesa got put on the official list of, like, Half-Life, like, canon games or some shit like that. Half-Life canon has never been established, but, uh, it was, like, in the official Half-Life bundle. And I remember the devs tweeting out, like, oh my god, we're considered by Valve to be part of the official thing. Like, that's insane. Because it kind of is, like, if you can't stand, like, old game jank, that is, like, the definitive fucking way to experience Half-Life. I, I haven't played it, that's just what I've heard. Uh, okay. So, it is a lot like the other version. Wow. The king is in the middle this time. Oh, and there's a new girl? What the fuck? She, she had like little punch hands? Her, she's got little fists! That's awesome. Oh, she's just a new character on top of the ones that already were here. Okay, so there's the classic. I kind of even want, don't even want to play this guy. Like, who gives a shit? The king looks awesome. And then this chick is new. Loop. Side change. What does that mean? Oh, interesting. Huh. He's got... <laughs> what the fuck? Why does he have a cat girl? <laughs> Why does he have a cat girl? She's, like, concealed in this view. <laughs> but he's got a little cat girl he's funny. <laughs> okay, thank you, Japan. <laughs> thank you, Japan. Gamagori <laughs> Irana! Fuck. Sed Sedal. Oh, damn. Oh! Um, these aren't, like, custom pickups per character, right? This is, like, just part of the updated version. Okay, so I think there's new music, too. Like, the, the soundtrack got redone. I love the little thing that's in front of him. Damn. Oh, he's, he's awesome. I love this ship. I love this doctor! Bullet. Uh, why does this not feel like the same level at all? 
that was in the first game. Like, it's a city. Maybe I'm just tripping. <laughs> I don't think you can actually, like, slow down your, uh, your plane in this game. Like, you can't... You can't go, like, focus mode. Wait, what's going on with the ones that, like, float up to the top of the screen? They got kinged. They're basic checkers that made it all the way across the screen. Hold on, it's kind of loud, isn't it? That seems a bit loud. I'll turn it down after a sec here. What is happening? Sanaquarium? I need Stinky the Snail to go along the bottom of the screen and collect all the coins for me. Yeah, so what is Burst? Is that like a new... Is that like a trance mode type thing? Let me fiddle with the buttons here and figure it out. I should have, like, looked at the controls. Approval for Combine? I thought it said Columbine for a second. Oh! Interesting. Oh! When I pick up those new red coins, I, like, shoot out a crazy high damage homing projectile. That's cool. I don't think that was in the original game. It, maybe it was, and I literally was just like, ignoring a game mechanic. That has happened many times playing Bullet Hive. Bullshit! Oh, did that not actually hit me? Oh! There's like a single like hair and ear and whisker of the cat girl visible on screen at all times. I hate it. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. So far, this is a ridiculously challenging bullet hell boss uh, that doesn't shoot bullets. Here we go. I was like, when is he gonna fire an attack? I was like, killing him too fast, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Knockout! That's a wrap! I am so unbelievably excited for Cuphead. I know I don't need to tell anybody this, but... Okay, I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. And we're gonna watch the credits all the way through this time. Uh, I'm so fucking unbelievably excited. I hope society doesn't collapse before fucking the Cuphead DLC comes out. I, I need to play it. I listened to... There was like a Nintendo Switch endorsed... Uh, like, look at the... They had they released these things for the original game, for the base game, that were like, a look inside the recording studio of the musicians playing the music, and it's really cool. Uh, and they released one for one of the songs for, like, the cowboy level, High Noon Hoopla, in uh, the DLC. And it sounds really good, and mild spoiler, there's fucking yodeling. They got a yodeler, a blue yodeler. That's how he's credited. I will never die no matter what happens. What the fuck does that mean? What is the R? Is that like a life? Did I just get an extra stock or something? I'm like desperately looking at my HUD to see if there's any information about that. There's like sad... There's like lonesome like Fallout New Vegas ass yodeling. Like, sad cowboy hours. I- the king's weapon is so good. I love it. The lasers are cool, but they, uh... Only now am I realizing they kind of lack damage. Also, the levels are pretty similar. It's, I think that's just like a weird... It's- the backgrounds are like, darker than the previous game. Like, noticeably darker. Am I crazy? Or is it all just, like, slightly tinted dark? Also, you know what I just realized? The bullets don't have souls. There's no bullet souls. There's no souls to the bullets. This game is still called Bullet Souls. What do you mean? There must be like an alternate mode to play it with the fucking like souls on or something. Am I playing like meme in San Aquarium coin mode? The fuck? The bullets don't have little ghost bullets. 
rename the game. Fuck. Oh god, oh god. Bombed at just the right time. I should be using my fucking burst thing. Burst swag. There's nothing more I can do. Okay. I don't know what that means. Oh! Was that the, like, out of bombs message? God, the achievements are wacky in these games. It's kind of funny. There's, like, some funny ones. Maybe just the king has the coin mechanic. That is possible. That sounds likely, because the coins kind of look... They, like, fit his vibe. I don't know if they really have, like, his crown on him or anything, but... They have, like, a little dude on there that looks regal. Gun... Whew. That's another one you don't want to move much for. The classic V Omega Flowey pattern. It's not even really that similar to a Mega Flowey. And I always say that, and I bet people always get fucking like pissed off because they're like, that came way after like all these classic bullet hells. Actually, I think this game came out in like 2017 or something. I should look, actually. I don't know what year it came out. It might have been like 2010 or something, actually. So I think that was before Undertale. Or be you. Once more. Burst. Swag. Nice. Oh! Those kind of snuck up on me because they were like a different color. Nice. Ooh. Oh! Nice. We are doing <clears throat> real good. Was there a timer there? What did it mean, 19 seconds? Oh my god. Damn, I got a pretty fucking high score. Holy shit! This game came out in 1922. Thanks, chat. Jesus Christ. Bronze. Did I just get a bronze medal for all that? All that shit happened? Is that- did I interpret that correctly? I, of course, cannot speak Japanese. I bet the, I bet that is right, that the king has these coins. Kinda weird. But I'm fine with it. It's like similar, it's just they fly straight down like fucking insane aquarium instead of uh going in big clusters in their original intended path. And they don't actually come out of the bullets, they come out of the ships that I kill. But I think certain ships give more coin. Alright, well, I've got a pretty fucking amazing score right now, but it's all gonna go down the toilet once I actually, like, start getting hit. Which is... gonna happen any time now. Uh, I, I, I did it right there. I need to use my fucking burst, what am I doing? Hop, 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 hop. Like, I bet, like, the burst mode also works differently for other characters. We'll try out the, uh, the new bitch. I don't even really feel like playing Soul Bad Guy, though, honestly. Oh, my lordy. Give them all to me. Ho! Ho! Alright, spread shot. So many coin. So greedy. So greedy. Wow. Oh, I got like memed on. It's a treasure chest. I think it was like a meme like Legend of Zelda enemy. Like the fucking like boss from Titan Souls that's like a treasure chest mimic. Alright, let's just roast this thing. Oh the bugs came out of it. Oh god. Oh god, they don't stop. The bugs start coming and they don't stop coming. I could be wrong, but I think that ship contact damage is not a thing in this game. Like, I think I just passed through some, some uh, ships there. I could be wrong. Oh, is this the boss that gets yeeted? Yeah! <laughs> That's so funny! Uh, that boss's, like, design is not memorable enough for me to know if we, like, fight it later on, or if that's truly just a one-off, like, meme. Okay, well, there goes my score. Oh! Ouch. I think Autobomb is on by default in this one. I think. 
I'm like getting hit but not dying, so that's all I can assume. Unless they added some kind of shield mechanic, which would be cool. Ha! Oh! Hey, was that ship contact damage? It might not have been. I think a bullet hit me. I'm not sure. I was kind of looking at another part of the screen. I don't know what those are. R! <gasps> R! Damn. I will get the money, yes. Oh, yes. I think I do slow down when I when I do the... Uh, maybe that's another thing that's like specific to this character, but I think I do slow down when I hold down the concentrated fire button. Oh, God. Oh, God. I died. I didn't have anything to get me out of that sitch. We'll have to see what, like, the total achievement count is by the end of this. Both versions. Okay. Hmm. I like the coins. I like the mini. It, it maybe kind of distracts me from what's important sometimes in life, though. As with money, as money usually does. It feels like this big drill thing right in front of me should do, like, a fuck ton of damage, but I don't know if it actually does. I'm not brave enough to go through there. I'm not a brave enough boy for this. Oh, do those worms have, like, one segment that you need to destroy? Like, fucking gobble gut in Mario Galaxy 2? Oh, I see. They have a bunch of segments you need to destroy. That was just one where it only had one left. <gasps> What the fuck? Okay. That was slightly confusing. Okay, it's bug ass. Oh shit, I kind of lost track of where my ship was there, honestly. I thought I knew, but then I didn't. Then I didn't know. You know? Time to use this. Shawnee! Maybe I should have, like, waited. I don't know if it actually deletes bullets around you like a bomb. Huh? Cock. Where am I? Oh god, I kind of lost track again, fuck. Oh god. Ha! Huh. Mm. I tried to bomb there. Didn't work. Cock! <gasps> Stop! I squoze through. Homina. 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 Can you die? Can this attack stop? <laughs> oh my lordy. <laughs> Good god. This is awesome. This is another like this is an instant classic, man. I like this one. It's honestly I was calling it too easy, but that was in like the first few levels. It's like just the right amount for me, personally. Fuck. Should've bombed. Whatever, I used auto bomb. The scrub option saved me. Ooh. 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 Burst. Okay. Jesus, there's a lot of these. I'm sure I could skip this, but I kinda don't want to. I kind of enjoy seeing all the fucking, like, Your point, sir! Your point, sir! Your point, sir! Your point, sir! Okay. Oh shit, we're going right into it. Fuck! Meteors. Meteor than you, buddy. I 
The music's pretty banger too. It's your standard shooter fare, but there's there's uh, there's good stuff in here. What is this? What is this? Mystery bonus. Mystery bonus. What do you mean? The game goes surreal for like half a second there. I bet that's uh, but that's relating to like the true final boss, if I had to guess, right? Like I bet there's a true final boss for if you like uh, full clear the whole thing without getting hit or without using a continue or whatever. Uh, we will not be seeing that, as is typical of these shooter games. We typically don't see the true final boss, but I bet that little surreal, like, break moment there, and, like, something about the mysteries, these are the mysteries, that, like, I bet that relates to the true final boss, and it's, like, this surreal thing. Because that's... Bullet Hells always do that shit. Remember RYM 9000? RIM 9000 or whatever? The one that was just, like, a visual fuckfest? That one had a cool, surreal final boss. That was awesome. This thing has a nose. It has like a Waluigi nose. Ooh, hype. Poggers. Hut, 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 hut. Poggers, poggers, poggers. So, another, like, it's crazy that I've played so many bullet hells and we still keep seeing new, fun variations on, like, your uh, burst ability. You know? Ooh. There you go. I think the drill might do extra damage. I don't know. Wow. Nice. Oh, that's satisfying. Just destroying wave after wave of enemy. And all the many. What the fuck is this? What are the R's? Does anybody know? Is it is it that little like green meter? That like chunky green meter on the side of the screen? I couldn't bomb. I didn't have any bomb. Actually, did I? Cuz it auto bombed. What? Weird. Or did I die? I don't know. I don't know anything. Fucking dumb as a bag of bricks. Me. Get up close. Okay, get far away. Okay, get up close. Alright. I don't remember what stage are we on. I bet I could figure out by pausing, but I'm not going to. That's just how little I care. Man, I could cut a mean jig to this song. Uh, I must say, significant factor when choosing a character in a bullet hell shooter is... Will they say, YOTUSO! Or will they say, DOKITABA! Every single time you get a bomb, you know? Like, annoying voice really counts for something. This was not in the original game. And it was like that other mystery segment. Weird. It was like weird differences. And I don't know if it's because I'm a different character, or because I'm doing better or worse, or what. This thing, this ship totally looks like that thing that we- it, I bet you a billion dollars that fucking thing is the true final boss. The thing that we glimpsed. Because this thing is like, shaped like it. As though a mechanical, earthly tribute to something unknowable. Fuck. Look at these attacks. Actually, is, is this the true final boss? It might be. <laughs> I don't remember these attacks. I remember something like that. Squeeze. I think this is new. What are these projectiles from Super Big Sky? Oh god. That was bad. Mm. Those kinds of attacks right there, those always fuck me up. These right here, where they have like coming from the side. Oh, okay. They're cool though. I love, I just love cool bullet patterns. Very simply put. I'm 
I'm like targeting certain parts of its body too, I just noticed. I don't really know what's up with that. Alright, time to burst swag. Komida! Tetsuo! Kaneda! Good. Okay, was that it? I think that was it. Stage four clear, fuck. That was totally a new boss though, am I crazy? Or was that a new boss? That the the attacks, I didn't recognize like any of those. <sighs> Fun though. Regardless of if it's new or not. Okay, let's see. How many achievements do I have already? Ten in this game. Nice. I got bronze. I still don't know if that's actually bronze, it might just be like red. Like, they might, might not even be going by, like, the metal system, anyway. Oh. Alright, shit's gonna get real here. I'm gonna have to shut up a little bit. Yeah, it's like Dragon Ball Z games, where the scores, the points, are just a ridiculously high number. Kinda like that. Smash TV and Narc. Not amazing arcade games, but they both have that factor of at the end of a the level, they like count up how much treasure you got, and it just keeps going, and it's just like and it's like the most satisfying thing ever. But you also have to play Narc to experience that. I would definitely recommend Smash TV over Narc. Narc was not very fun. Smash TV is actually kind of a binding of Isaac type. Twin stick shooter. I mean, can you blame those arcade game developers for ripping off such a popular game as The Binding of Isaac? I can't. Do the coins, like, give you more points after they bounce off the back or something? Because they, like, turn red. I bet they give you more or less points. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm trying to like look at the numbers that come out of them and they go away too fast for me to like process while also playing the game. Okay, we must be close to the uh, boss. It's really hard to tell how many points, because they're always, like, stacked on top of each other, too. Okay. Oh. I went to go itch my hand! But there was more. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? This is totally new, too, right? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know to, just, like, trust myself anymore. Nice. Feels good to just pass, like that wasn't the craziest attack, but it feels good to just pass through one of those big waves, totally unscathed, you know? In that moment, you feel gamer. No matter how many continues you actually end up using on the game. Oh. Okay. We're just gonna deal with these ships on the side shooting at me. Oh. Squeezed through there. Just in the nicotine. Whoa. I love the goofy treasure chest enemy. Oh god. I was very scared of that blue beam attack. Didn't want to even go for those coins. Oh! It's so fast! That's why it's so scary. It's a little bizarre to me that there's no difficulty modes in this game, but whatever. I don't really mind, because I feel like it's a nice, like, medium difficulty. It's not extra crispy. Whoa. Asriel moment? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
It sounded like he was singing row, row, row your boat. Ah, 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 she gets. Ah, she gets. Ah, she gets. It's like if you're going to put in voice lines that are that long and then explicitly put moments into the game where you know the voice line is going to, like, overlap with itself. Like, what do you think in there? What's the thought process? Strange. Japanese developers, man. It's just a different culture. It's probably not that crazy to them. Not that, like, ridiculous of a thing. It just, it, it just always sticks out to me in Japanese games. More than most other games, I feel like. That's definitely affecting that little green meter there. Might just be giving me burst? I don't know. Alright. So there's like a time limit on the bosses, too. I never really realized this. But I guess there's a time limit. Fuck, use the burst. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be pain, isn't it? Real fast bullets, I don't like that at all. You guys know I don't like the fast bullets. They make my brain hurt. And they make my ship die. Oh! Use it again, fuck it. Try to make this guy die as quick as possible. Um. Uh. Um. Okay. Noted. What do you mean? What do you mean that attack? What do you mean that attack? What do you mean? What do you mean that attack? What do you mean that attack? What, do, uh, uh, what do you. <laughs> you have to go so far for that shit. There's totally new attacks in this version. Oh my god. Okay. Let's try to survive at least one iteration of it. Jesus Christ. That is insane. That is a nutty move. Wow. <laughs> Classic bullet hell shenanigans. You gotta expect that. Oh. I didn't realize the background was moving, and I was like, wow, the illusion of, like, the scrolling, you know, the, like, thing where you stop walking and it looks like the world's coming towards you? That's really extreme right now. It really looks like it's moving. It is moving. <laughs> Oh shit, look, it's like demoting my metal there. Is that what that was? No? Thought it was gonna like go down to a bronze once it went under one star. Oh, yes. The crust. It's gonna be a little quiet, but... Oh, new character? Yeah! Shut up. Girl character. We already have a girl character. Every piece of media only needs one girl character, as we all know. Why is it so, like, crusty? Was the previous version this crusty? I kind of feel like it wasn't. Oh. Little soliloquy of your own character. Okay. You know what this reminds me of is that one scene in Cars. <laughs> Near the beginning of Cars, when Lightning McQueen's on the highway. The inciting incident of Cars 1. Don't you remember? Look at the- the stars look like bullet patterns. Oh my god. Omega poggers? I need to turn it up. Please don't skip. Please don't skip. Please don't skip it. All I'm doing is clicking on OBS and just uh, turning up the volume. Yes. Yes. There's literally not a better way to end the game than with, like, a love ballad. It's literally the best way to end the game. It's impossible to end it any better. Jake Kaufman? What? Jake Kaufman! Jake Kaufman! You work on the soundtrack? Jake Kaufman! Fucking Jake Kaufman! It's the guy who made, like, the Shovel Knight soundtrack and shit. I didn't know he always worked on this game. To you. It keeps lagging in the credits. Tubby Fox. To be Fox. Sorry. God, have I heard this vocalist before? Is this 
the singer of that one song, like Soleil? Fuck. I might even know this singer. <laughs> it's like the one Japanese singer I know. It's not really true. I've just heard the song. It just sounds really similar to someone. Oh. Tachyon works. That's a nauseating logo. It looks like Street Fighter Alpha Birdie. Pivisions. Division 2, I think. <laughs> totally looks like Pivisions, though. This is a fucking bop. Look at that, like, V-Sync v tear. Fix... like, okay. Having poor translation in some, like, d description of an achievement on Steam, that's one thing. The five powered end games. That's like the logo of your company. Are you sure? Like, has no one told you that that is like broken English? Nobody has got back to you with the feedback that that is not how English works. I hate to sound like an asshole. I'm always so, I'm always so confused how shit like that ends up in games. Oh, what about his cat girl though? This is the, it's, she's just straight up wearing an Eva suit. Like, just literally, okay. Alright, well, I don't think I'm gonna play the entire game again. But I'm going to just check out the other character, because there's a new character in this one. And there's, like, a different mode, too, right? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That was easy. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Alright, oh, it's, uh... Probably really loud. There we go. Um, so let's just try out this bitch. She's got fists. She's got fucking fists. Okay. And like, does it mention the coin thing here with the king? I really don't even care about playing this guy. I played him a little bit off stream. I don't know. He's just kind of your standard fare. All the side characters are the interesting ones. Grappler type. It says grappler type up there. What do you mean grappler in a bullet hell? Mm, oh great. We're not gonna be plagued by annoying voice lines with this one. No siree. Grappler ship? Loop. I love the creepy hands. Uh, she's got coins too. Weird. There must be a way to, I'll look in the settings or something. And so she's got these little shurikens that should go off to the side. Pretty cool. And she punches when you focus. That's so awesome. <laughs> Wait! I can just beat the shit out of my enemies? Bro, what the fuck? I can just aura aura their asses. That's badass. Why have I not- Why have I not ever seen a bullet hell do this before? I think the Super Galaxy Squadron EX Turbo have something like this, actually. Might have. I was convinced that the coins were a king thing. Seems like her spread shot is... not terrible, but weak, you know? Man, she's cool. Uh, you know... Hold on, let's, like, beat this level and then... I'll go into the settings. I am gonna leave soon, this is kind of a short stream. Folks, we are approaching the part of summer that just, this is just a thing now. Uh, climate change, totally fake by the way, that's always bullshit every time that hits me. It comes out of nowhere, it comes off the side of the screen. We are approaching the part of the year where the heat is just fucked in Seattle. This is just a new thing we have to deal with. Uh, so, the streams are maybe going to be a little shorter and fewer between. Not too much, but there are maybe going to be a few more, like, kind of sizable gaps between streams here and there. Uh, so just prepare for that. By the way, climate change, yeah, totally not real, by the way. Yeah, t uh, d uh, yeah. Must have been the wind, say climate change deniers. Oh wait, it kind of was the wind. Fuck. The wind is at least related. Okay, let's see what her, like, burst thing is. 
you just say suck it down, Des? Suck it to down, Des? Oh, good. Oh, that's really great. See, amazing design. As usual, we all know that playing... That's, that's really, that's not annoying at all. <laughs> okay. There's like a time limit on the bosses. I wonder, like, do you just instantly lose if you fuck that up? She is so blatantly in an EVA suit. Can I, like, I've never watched Evangelion, but, like... Like, am I misremembering this, or is it, like, shockingly similar? Eh. God, I looked up Evangelion bodysuit, and it's, like, a bunch of, like, you can buy this thing, women's cosplay, Asuka. Asuka! Is it Asuka? I've never watched the show. Here we go. Here's a decent, actual, it's all, like, costumes and shit. I don't know what they're actually called. They probably have a name. Look at how similar. It's got like the little like ports in it and shit. I don't know. Whatever. And then look at like the dorky ass like morph suit version. <gasps> okay. Uh. Gold. Yeah, whatever. It's a day in the life. Um. So. Is there really no other way to play the game? So bullet souls are just gone in this version. It like is that silly to anyone else that the main mechanic of the game has been removed in the definitive edition? Like what the fuck? Can I just like play as the main guy just to like make double sure that that we're not like memeing here? That that Oh and I got an achievement! No, he's got coins too. What the fuck? Guys, achievement farm. This is Poggers. This is Poggers. Another achievement, please. I'll, I'll be taking my Steam achievement now, please. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs> Where do the wind come from, and why is it that some winds are stronger than others? Thank you for asking. It's trees farting. Uh, let's see if there's... Ooh! Look at this! Burst mode! I thought that said rancid for a second. Buncho. Normal mode? B Caravan. What? So there's burst mode, which I think is what I was doing. Then there's burst mode buncho. What does buncho mean? Is that like hard? Normal mode. Normal mode buncho. And then caravan. The fuck is caravan? What do you mean caravan? Oh, it's not gonna fucking... Oh, is this, like, infinite mode? Oh, shit! Look, the souls are back. Here we go. I found it. I found it, guys. The souls are in the game. Rancid mode. Everyone's just fucking nauseating. It's like that... There's, like, a Japanese fetish for, like, gross guys, right? That was explored in a panty and stocking episode. Where stocking falls in love with this, like, disgusting, like, fart monger. That's like the 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 instant boner KO is like you're looking at like fucking like hentai or whatever, and then like some big gross like sweaty dude shows up and you're like, great. This is wonderful. Like I got nothing against dudes, but like nasty dudes. Oh! Actually dodged the bullshit. Uh so what even is this? You take good aim too much. What the fuck does that mean? I have no idea how I earned that achievement, but okay. No idea what I, like, did. Oh! Ugly bastards. Is this, like, the official term? <laughs> oh god, I hate when I learn a new, like, sexual term, like, gooning. And then I, like, hear the, the phrase used in a non-sexual context, and now I'm gonna hear... If, I, if anybody ever calls someone an ugly bastard, I'm going to be thinking about, like, nasty hentai. <laughs> oh. Ugly bastard. <laughs> That's such, like... 
It's one of those fetishes, and I, I don't mean to, like, you know, kink shame, but you can't help but feel like the people who are into that... Oh, are a little fucked up. Oh, that was like a time limit thing? You know about jelking? I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Can we move on from this? <laughs> Clear caravan. What does that mean? I guess that's like, it's like a timed mode and you try to get as high a score as possible? Is my guess? Okay. That's cool. I don't know if that was like randomized or what. Fuck, okay. Uh, well, let's just take a quick peek at normal mode. And you know what? I'm gonna do normal mode boncho. Okay, I'm gonna go to Google Translate and we're gonna look at what boncho means. <laughs> it means boncho. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Google Translate. It has been perfectly elucidated now. Isn't Boncho a delinquent? Huh. I don't know. Boncho is a delinquent. Okay. So this is like... Hardcore mode. This is only... This is a mode for bad dudes. I bet. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The, the main... Same game, but the enemies fuck you up even harder. I bet that's what it is. Oh. Oh. For a second I thought I had, like, extra missiles. Those are my normal amount. Okay. It's, like, brighter again. Is burst mode, like, dark for some reason? <laughs> Maybe I'm tripping. I trip a lot when playing games. I make a lot of mistakes. Misinterpretations. Punch him. Just fuck him up. This guy's a wuss. Oh, good. Cool power-up. I unfortunately do know what sounding is. Uh... I have this little, like, rod that I use to clean out my urethra. No. My, like, weed paraphernalia. And whenever I look at it, I, like, cringe because I think I have, like, intrusive thoughts about sounding. You ever get the intrusive thought to just ram something up your pee hole? It's one of those things where I'm just like, that can't, that can't actually feel good. Having a rod stuck up your dick. Like, I just, I don't believe anyone that says that feels good. There's no way that that is a comfortable experience. Maybe it's not necessarily supposed to be comfortable. Oh. I'm all about comfort, though. Did I just miss a power-up because I didn't get it in time? I think that's what happened. I love beating the shit out of my meat. I mean bosses. 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 Oh, Maka S. Oh, Maka S. Maka S. I love how Germa says Maka S. It's like the voice that appears in my brain. Nobody even said Maka S. It just popped into my head. Okay. Are we playing this whole mode? Danger. Oh. Did the previous mode have the danger screen? It probably did. I'm... I'm... Not very perceptive. Cody Cup is it? Oh, that did a ton of damage to the boss. What? My nuts are did that do like half his health? <laughs> what? Wait, can you cheese bosses with bombs? <laughs> normal. This is normal mode. I might beat the game like this too. Uh give me a little bit of a little bit of air here though. Pardon me. You can, like, see her belly button through her outfit. Like, what is this? How does that work? No miss! Nice. It was, like, the second level or whatever. Oh! Oh, but you do it for individual levels? Bancho. 
What? I don't really get it. I wanna take you for a ride. I've had, ever since we played MVC2, I've had the fucking training mode music stuck in my head. Okay. So, Bancho might be like individual levels? Hold on. Let's go back here. Yeah, it seems like it. Because I don't have all the levels like unlocked on normal mode even. Man, why can't they just say like the normal game? The default was on burst mode too. I want to reiterate that. Oh, I don't have any power ups. The other one started me off with full power ups. I don't know what Boncho mode is, man. It only lets let's do one level. Punch. <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking pussy. That guy is the most embarrassing bullet hell boss I've ever seen in my life. Dude, you just got beat up by, like, a little girl in an Evangelion cosplay. How does it feel? Just wrecked. Imagine if the enemies in these games could come up and just punch me in the fucking face. How scary would that be? Like, did I... I might have, like, misinput on the menu or something, but I swear it defaulted to the mode that doesn't have the bullet souls. Normal mode. So I don't know, I don't get it. It's a slightly weird choice, but whatever. This is an incredibly fun game, though. This is going right up there with uh, some other... I don't think it's as good as, like, Mushihime-sama. But great soundtrack, cool visuals, fun gameplay, good variety of ships. Definitely buy the updated version. There's no reason to buy the old version anymore. And I think they're probably still on sale on the Steam sale. Okay, hey, I didn't get hit by that because I was chasing the power up. Kind of happened last time, too. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck you. You gotta be much more careful about, like, holding down the button here, though. Oh, yeah. Just drink all those up. The, like, soul mechanic genuinely is really cool. Because they kind of design attacks around... They, they, like, design them with that in mind, which makes it kind of a unique experience. Like, they have all these attacks that are huge clusters of bullets because they know you're going to kill that ship before the bullets actually reach you, like we just saw there. And you're going to be able to just <laughs> slurp them up in a really satisfying way. It's a good game design. Danger. Danger. Okay, how many times have we done this fucking guy? Let's bomb to see if it does a billion damage. It does! It legit does. Uh, the bomb fucks up bosses, guys. It, like, does damage to them. What? Am I crazy, or is that normally not a thing in bullet hells? Like, does it normally not do damage to bosses? What would the best way to support me be? I don't know. Just, uh, keep enjoying the content. You don't need to... Nobody ever needs to go out of their way to support the channel. We're, we're doing fine. If you're gonna sub to anyone, sub to Lark. Just because he has fewer. I don't know. His channel deserves more attention. He's doing all the crazy fucking webcam shit. <laughs> I do have people ask me about merch sometimes, and I have the shittiest merch of all time. I think if you look up, like, Grapefruit Streamlabs t-shirt or something like that, you should be able to find it. It is a singular black plain t-shirt with the Grapefruit logo on it. That's my only merch. <laughs> at, at time of speaking. Whoa. Really glad about that spread shot right now. Man, if we could get, like, a custom monkey mug made, that would be awesome. But that's such a... That's so far-fetched, because, like... The monkey mug has, like, the arm handle. It would need the arm handle. And it's not like we could just get, like, custom printing on a mug. It needs the arm handle to have the same power as the monkey mug. There was that one piece of fan art where somebody had, like, a Donkey Kong monkey mug. And that was really cool. And if, if it wasn't a total, like, you know, 
It'd probably be a nightmare to get them manufactured, and Nintendo would probably sue us. But if that wasn't a factor, I would totally make that as merch. <laughs> Uh, this character is really good so far. I keep, like, saying these characters are really good on, like, the first couple levels. I think the laser girl actually was not great in retrospect. Her damage was just too low. It was too, like, spread out. <gasps> oh, I almost, like, really panicked and just flew right into that bullet. Kind of got saved by my tiny hitbox. I love the big laser, yeah. Okay. Those things are shaped like the, the surreal thing, too. The, like, cross pattern. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I don't know the lore! Man, I'm gonna... Uh, oh, I'm gonna have the biggest fucking, like, hard-on in the universe adding two games to the spreadsheet after this. I basically just played one game. But you bet your ass I'm putting both versions on the spreadsheet. I need to get back to doing reviews. It's been a little while. I did like three streams in a row of it, and then I kind of dropped the ball, as I am wont to do. Do your thing. Bomb. Did that- it didn't damage it. What? Did it not like have an a active hurt box or something? Oh. Very cool. Well, this is fun. Usually you guys don't get to see me, like, play the same bullet hell a few times in a row. Uh, it's fun to do because you get to check out the new characters, but you also sort of improve at the game. Like, I'm sure... I don't know. I'm sure that the amount of deaths will have gone down in subsequent runs of this game. I haven't been, like, counting or anything, but... That's one of the best feelings with these kinds of games. That's what got me addicted to Dunmaku Unlimited 2 in the first place, was just playing it over and over again, trying to do better every time. I think Dunkey talked about this at one point, too. About, like, you don't need to do great, just better every time, and that feels so good. Alright. Oh, nice. I thought that was the mid-level boss. Mid! A little mid! Ah, give me the, give me the air. Oh, yeah. Her hair is so, like, angular. I'm still freaking out about the king's, like, cat girl. Ain't hey, no miss. Very cool. <laughs> is this, like, a different version of the soundtrack, too? Again, I have no idea. Sounds good, though. I don't know if it's like an arranged version or whatever. There's a word the Japanese developers love using. Arrange. I'm surprised Melty Blood Actress, again, current code, doesn't have the word arrange just like crammed in there. So, by the way, I just like don't have burst in this mode at all. Which makes sense, because burst was in burst mode. Banger. Mushihime Sama had like two or three different versions of the soundtrack. I think maybe just two. But the arranged version was like weirdly hard to get hold of. I actually ended up purchasing it on Steam and then uploading because I, I used it as the intro to a stream a, a few times now. And uh, I purchased the soundtrack so that I could upload the video of it. Just an unlisted video and link to it in the description. I have a few unlisted videos on my fruit salad channel that are just songs that I uploaded that I couldn't find anywhere else on the internet. Like Windy's theme in Peggle 2. Which in retrospect is not even that much of a banger, it just has the fucking Jigglypuff song chord progression. Shredding. They do be shredding. Oh. Oh god. No! Oh. Shut up. 
Shut up. <laughs> it never gets old. Now time to meet your maker. You're just like an animal. Why do you shoot bullets? You're just like a creature. You're one of God's creatures. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> oh! That was a little complicated. The Jigglypuff song. From the anime. I had a little, like, toy. It was like an alarm clock or something that played that song when I was younger. Very nostalgic for me. I think it actually belonged to my sister, but... Whatever. Woo! I actually squoze through there. I still ended up... After I squoze through, I used a panic bomb. Resident Sleeper. Funny. Now I'm gonna get really angry and draw... Uh, mustaches on your faces. You better watch out. Watch your mouth. Shut your mouth and look at my wad. Special bonus. Sure. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm special. Fuck you. Oh. Best part of the song right here. Look at the little mushrooms in the background. Very cool. This level in particular almost feels like a love letter to uh, Mushihime-sama. I don't know if that's actually true. This game might have even come out before Mushihime-sama. I should not, like, embarrass myself, but it's really a similar vibe. Okay. No entry. I just realized we have the little anime profiles on the side for this whole thing. Whatever. As long as it's not Soul Bad Guy's donkey ass face. Donkey. Didn't mean to say donkey there. <laughs> clutch bomb. Very clutch. I always make like Squidward footstep sound effects. It's just what instinctively comes to mind whenever I'm in a difficult situation in one of these types of games. Well, there goes the true boss run. True. The TFB. Rip the TFB. I used to continue. Rip the TFB. Ha. Oh! Infinite continues is a Chad move, by the way. Oh. Nice. Because, like, just let people play the game, you know? Like, I don't super mind games that have limited continues when they're bullet hells like this, but I much prefer the ones that just let you go through regardless. And, if, and then you just get a shitty score. Like, I think that works out just fine. People who take great pride in doing well in these games can take great pride in doing well, and people who are scrubs like me can be scrubs like me and still enjoy the games. Perfect. Works for everybody. Yikes. I want to beat the shit out of this bug. I'm taking your lunch money. It's weed. Fuck you. She just said weed. Weed! Snoop, weed, smoke, 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 smoke. He kind of telefragged me there. Kind of like spawned a bullet on me, but whatever. Nice. Yeah, getting back your power-ups, too. It seems like a no-brainer that you should be able to pick up your power-ups again. But, uh, go play the fucking Cho Aniki game on the PlayStation 1 that I played, where they just didn't consider that. And Parodius and Gradius, to a lesser extent, also have that issue. 
of like you lose your power ups and then you're like, well, I'm completely unequipped to actually like complete the game now because I'm using like the weakest possible shots on like very difficult encounters that I'm supposed to have a bunch of power ups for. Kind of hate that like momentum based shit. Okay, here's mystery zone. I killed them instead of just dodging them. Still none the wiser. We'll never know. We'll never know what that is. Look at the background here. Like, this is epic. Big space battle. <laughs> I love when a bunch of tiny ships are just pouring in like that. It's like, wow, they must really feel like cannon fodder. <laughs> They are just there to be shot. They're shredding. They're fucking shredding. Music's maybe a little bit loud, but I, I kind of don't even mind. The music's, like, so good. The bangers are coming out. That was a panic bomb, actually. I, I didn't... I, I accidentally slipped, slipped through the cracks. Didn't actually need to bomb there, but wasted, whatever. Every once in a while in a bullet hell, oh god, you'll, uh, there'll just be like a solid wall of bullets and you'll just slip through the cracks just barely. I swear, every time we go through, like, that attack where there are a bunch of those ships, like, zooming in very suddenly off the sides of the screen, that wasn't in previous runs, was it? Are there, like, random elements or, like, stuff that's custom to each character, or what? There's, like, slightly different stuff in each run, I swear. Like, is this different, too? Like, we've seen these ships before. Come get some of this. Fuck. Come, come. Did it again. Why do I keep making that sound? One drawback to this character is if you're using the, uh, the focus mode and you're not directly in front of the boss, you're not actually hitting them at all. Not even doing slight amounts of, like, you know, spread shot damage or anything. Which is not cool. You don't want that. Oh, fuck. Just call me a dum dum. Dum dum. Oh, oh. I keep thinking it's gonna like go to like trippy mode there again. I think there's custom stuff per character, or something. Espra D had uh, a cool mechanic where like the first level was either random or unique to each character, but then it, like, became the same as it went on. And it was just supposed to, like, spice up that first level, because that can be kind of a boring part of each replay of the game. Which I think was a really cool, interesting feature. And Espera D was, like, one of the best cave shooters. In my opinion. Okay, can you die from the bomb? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More mystery bonus. This was not here. I don't think. Fuck. Mm. Stage four boss is emerging. Uh, again, I bet you dollars to donuts this thing is supposed to be physically reminiscent of the true final boss. punch it. Getting up close and trying to punch it can be really risky, especially when you don't know like what attack is coming, though. So, let's maybe be a little safe here on these later bosses. Oh. Oh, yeah. Pa 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 punch Ditsy down. Ditsy down. pa 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 punch Okay, this is the attack that really fucks me up. Okay. Ha. Mm. 
Hard. Hard to do. Cool move, though. Fucking cool. Cool. Just get a few, like, punches in there while they're not shooting anything. pa 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 punch Nice. That's the strat right there. Just get a little bit of extra, like, concentrated damage with the punching. The punching spaceship is the best. I think when I review these games, I'm gonna, like, give a not recommended to the previous version and a totally recommend to this version. Simply because there's no reason to buy the previous edition. I feel like... Like, the only reason I bought the previous edition is because I'm a fucking dumbass. Alright. No, no miss. Miss, in fact. Okay. Oh. Alright, this is definitely my last run of this. After this, I am signing off. Kinda didn't intend to do three runs of this game today, but I'm fine with that. Again, it's the replay value is one of the best parts of these kinds of games. Here's the schwashtika thing. Go punch a schwashtika. Nice. Feels good, man. Easy. Again, I wonder how those ships feel about their lot in life. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if the people who pilot those ships went through like a lot of training, you know? Wonder if they just like hired a bunch of like homeless people off the streets. Like we just need someone here to like shovel coal into the fucking like furnace. You don't need to actually be able to pilot it or anything. Do you boys know how to shovel coal? <laughs> Shut up! Why is it so much more annoying when it's like a high-pitched anime girl voice? I think I kind of just answered my own question there. Oh! That attack should not surprise me anymore. We've seen it a bunch of times. So I guess my best guess, we'll confirm, we'll see if this is true after this. But we will see if delinquent mode is like just a single stage attack mode where they give you a bunch of power-ups at the beginning and just have you do one stage whoa ho ho oh yeah give me all those hell yeah nut uh still nutting still nutting you cannot stop the nut is this good? Are we winning? Oh. The laser is also... It's its actually really good. Like, it's one of the better damaging ships. Destruction bonus! I just noticed that that's a thing. I'm, like, destroying the environment. I sent those ships to their death. They just, like, fell down the, like, Death Star shaft. Sure. Spare pussy, spare coochie. Right. Huh. Easy, 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 easy. What is this pathetic shit you're giving me right now? Okay. So we get the B. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Canned coochie. Punch. Nothing feels better than just getting right up in their face and punching them a little bit. Oh! And then they do that. And then you feel bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> she like they overlap. Like she talks over herself. How do you do that? How do you shenangle your vocal cords into doing that? This guy gets me every time. These guys. This guy. This guy. <laughs> Poopy. Poopy. Poop. Poopy. How am I supposed to do? Okay. Can you guys die? Like, what is this? This is insane! Oh! Stop! Okay. Cool snake ship. Oh. B. Lots of cool little details in the background. Alright. Prepare for death. Pa -pa -pa -punch. Pa -pa 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 I'm gonna bomb right in its fucking face and just keep punching it. It's <laughs> fucking stupid. Okay. I had my fun, and now I've wasted all my bombs. I did take off like a good third of its health with that strat, though. <laughs> oh, right, this attack! Okay, where's it starting from? Good god, it always goes a little further than I think it's gonna go. Okay, I'm like ready for it now, though. I finally adapted? Fuck. Yeah. Get fucked. <laughs> I don't have to deal with your attacks. That- this is the best ship. Just punch the fucking final boss until he dies. Like what, you hit me? Come over here, nerd! Come over here! Come over here! Taking your lunch money! <laughs> wow. Alright, I did it. Time to watch the crusty cutscene again. We'll get to see the special epilogue for Best Girl. I mean, the actual girl notwithstanding. Her ship is the best, though. It's like Devilot in uh, Cyberbots. She has the best spaceship. It's so crusty. I feel like it wasn't in the other one. Payback time desu. Payback time desu. I think she was literally saying, come get some des earlier. Because there she said payback time. The fuck? All right, now play the fucking Symphony of the Night song again. <laughs> Crank it. Crank that shit. This is literally as loud as it goes, and it's still pretty quiet. <laughs> okay. Well, those those were fun games. I mean, that that was fun game. I just played it about a billion different ways. The the credits always lag. Why? Okay, how many- what's the final achievement count? I guess we're gonna get another achievement after this, uh, after this credit sequence. Fuck, let's skip it. Oh! 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 Okay! Oh! <laughs> that got outright pornographic real quick. Thanks, Japan. Thanks, Japan. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's hilarious. Gotta love Japan. Gotta love Japan. But you gotta hate them. But you gotta love them. But you gotta hate them. But you gotta respect the grind set. But you also... You gotta mock it. Constantly. Uh... Let's take a look at the final... You know, let's listen to this music. This is good music. I was gonna quit out of the game, but no. Uh... Oh my god, guys. Holy fucking shit. I need to show you something. We're going into Steam right now. I was talking about some fucking English. Look at this. This was the achievement I just got. Pay back time. Wow. <laughs> the ending with loop. Is that her? Is she loop? Wouched. <laughs> oh yeah, it is really loud, isn't it? 
I'm sorry. Wouched. I'm sorry, I had it cranked for the ending theme. Wouched. Play a game to get in piece of cake. You take good aim too much. Missed in caravan mode. Play a game to get in red hot skull. Like, just run it by... And, like, seriously, I know I say this a lot. Run these by one person who speaks English. Like, I... I know I go on about this a lot, and I'm gonna sound like some, like, racist prick, like, redneck who's like, Gotta speak English! But, like, if you're making an English translation for a game, I, like, all I'm asking for is a singular check by one person who speaks English. That's all I'm asking. Like, I really don't think that's that crazy. Like, if I made a game and I translated it into Japanese, I wouldn't just, like, slap that shit in Google Translate and call it a day. I would get- I would find somebody who speaks goddamn Japanese. <laughs> Whatever. Uh... It, of course, doesn't really matter, and it's funny, but it just always blows my mind that that shit ends up in finished games. Like, good games, you know? Okay, so final count of achievements. I got... 23 achievements in the original Bullet Soul. And 23 in the new one. What the fuck? But there were, like, different... Whack. It perfectly lined up, I guess. Weird. Okay. It is funny. It is funny when there's bad grammar. But, uh... I just... Consist it consistently weirds me out how, like, pervasive that is. Anyway, uh, this was an awesome game. That was really fun. Uh, and hey, like, over two hours. That's a bit long for a bullet hell. I had a great time. Would recommend. Definitely get the Infinite Burst Edition, not the original. Uh, there's just no reason not to get the Infinite Burst Edition, I think. Uh, and I think that's it for today, in terms of streams. Unless I decide to do, like, reviews or maybe a Metal Slug game later today. It's possible, but it's kinda hot. And, uh, I gotta work on, like, editing and shit. We're very close to Cuphead DLC coming out, and I think I'm gonna be playing that at midnight on, you know when the 29th becomes the 30th, assuming they release it at that time. Uh, I guess maybe we'll, like, you know... We'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you... you you'll have to be, like, on... on call for that. I'll be on call, rather. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. Thanks, as, as always, for all the subs and shit. Uh, 170 viewers for a bullet hell. That's whack. Maybe it's because it's got booba. Okay, time to go crank my hog.